Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Creating multi-page websites using Streamlit is a great way to build interactive web applications quickly. Streamlit allows you to create web applications for data science and machine learning projects with minimal effort, and the multi-page feature enables you to organize your app better. Getting started with Streamlit First, you need to make sure that you have Streamlit installed. You can install it using pip. Directory structure For our multi-page application, let's create a simple directory structure. You can create a folder named multi underscore page underscore app with the following structure. Creating the main app, AppPy. This file will serve as the entry point for your Streamlit app. Here, you will set up the navigation for the pages. Creating the first page, page1.py. This file will contain the code for the first page of your application. Creating the second page, page2.py. This file will contain the code for the second page of your application. Running the application. To run the application, navigate to the multi underscore page underscore app directory in your terminal and run the following command. How it works. One main app, appy. The main application file sets up a sidebar for navigation. It uses a radio button to allow users to select which page to view. Based on the selection, it imports the appropriate page module and calls the show function. Two page modules, page1.py and page2.py. Each page has its own module with a show function that defines what content to display. This keeps the code organized and makes it easy to add more pages in the future. Adding more pages. To add more pages, simply create another Python file, example page3.py, and follow the same structure. Then, update the sidebar in AppPy to include the new page. Conclusion Streamlit makes it easy to create multi-page web applications with minimal effort. By organizing your app into separate modules for each page, you can maintain clean code and enhance the user experience. This tutorial provided a basic setup, but you can expand the functionality by adding more complex visualizations, user inputs, and interactivity as needed. Happy coding!